starting now in the Galaxy Bank, uh, number one is Far, Far Away. Then there's a version with accordion uh, coming up next. You can also do more of a groove on the left hand. Um, Immediately, we're in a new world with the Galaxy Bank, as you can hear. Um, and the theme throughout the Galaxy Bank is uh, choirs. So we've got choirs right away on the chord and sustained sounds. It gives it that spaciousness. And as I said earlier about having many different frequencies activated and lots of pads of sounds. Uh, so it's very smooth, very spacey. I hope you uh, agree. Accordion Fantasy is number three. By the way, the secret to playing movie music, uh, somebody just uh, said to me recently, and I thought it was great, never cadence, and it sounds like a movie soundtrack because you just keep the music going. It's great. So uh, now the namesake, Galaxy number one. If you always have a chord held down, you'll get that wonderful phasing sweep. No matter what you're playing. That one has a very soft melody. Number two is a little more pronounced with its melody. As I remember, we've got music box, uh, no, celeste on the right hand. With these galaxy sounds, you have to be very expressive with the bellows. Do a lot, pull hard do big swells, long bellows trajectories. Galaxy number three is a little different. Um, it has tubular bells on the basses, so uh, you can't play the basses as you would normally. They're meant to be just punctuation. So basically, you only want to play chords and melody. and hold things, and then severe tubular bell basses. And that wonderful uh, falling insect sound on the right hand. Le Petit Prince, uh, number seven in the bank. I just love that bass note that moves a little bit after you uh, press it. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to play. It just sort of makes me smile. I'm just improvising here, but uh, these are not really meant for any specific piece. Uh, they just make me happy, and I can play them late at night. Um, I hope they'll bring joy to you, too. Voyager number one and Voyager two, of course, these are inspired by the spacecraft. Um, Voyager one and two, which both took off from Earth in the 70s. Uh, it's real life Star Trek, um, and they are the furthest objects. Voyager one is now the furthest object ever uh, to leave Earth. It's exited our solar, solar system a few years ago, uh, past Pluto's orbit. Uh, actually, quite a while ago, I think. Um, but I was inspired by that idea and made sounds for each of those spacecraft on their little 
Uh, they're like the little engine that cord could, just chuffing away through space. And the way that I uh, design that into the sound is by putting this cord that I'm just holding the cord, and it keeps cycling through different uh, um, harmonic uh, filters on the cord. So if you play in time with that, it sounds really good. Again, bellow swells. Go for it. Voyager 2. Interstellar. This is uh, inspired directly by the movie. There's a version of this in my Freebase uh, user program bank as well. Uh, honestly, that one's better uh, because then you can do uh, a bass and then a da dum bum bum rolling the chord, uh, which you can't do here. You just get the same chord uh, three different times. Um, and that just really brings it to life. But uh, I wanted to make it a Stradella version as well. Um, there's also an accordion version. Just in case you feel the need uh, to play big uh, interstellar sounds. The last uh, three in this bank, and then this video will be over, is uh, um, three club sounds. So I made three. Uh, one is called Comet Club, one is called Club Saturn, and one is called Club Neptune. Uh, these are my imagination of, you know, walking into a bar on a moon of Saturn, and there's like two green aliens or blue aliens who are just like serving liquid drinks that are like uh, alive and glowing and changing color as they serve them. Uh, so yeah, uh, Comet Club, this is the smallest because it's on a comet, of course. Uh, follow my logic. Oh, now I'm still playing Interstellar. Got to play something else. Now, um, Club Saturn is next. This one is uh, bigger. Uh, this has rock guitar in it. That uh, has modulation on the middle chin switch. Anytime I use guitar, you can push the middle chin switch and the guitar will uh, uh, start rocking out uh, with some modulation. As long as you hold it. Last one, Club Neptune. This one's a little more subdued. You know, Saturn is really where it, people lose their mind in my fantasy galaxy. And Neptune is a little more chill. <laughs> So that gives you a little overview of how I keep it going. DJ Groove. That gives you a little overview of how these sounds can be used. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. As I said, 
these sounds are um are available for purchase from my website michaelbridgemusic.com it's on the page called user programs uh it's 150 us for the suite hope this was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you like it uh please give the video a like and uh, comment let me know what you thought and i hope to hear from you soon take care